There's only one thing that's better than an awesome workbench for building all of your projects and that is an awesome workbench that you've built yourself on the cheap in less than an hour. So today we're going to teach you how to build a workbench. Now you're not going to need any expensive or fancy tools for this project. You can do it with just a saw, a measuring tape, a drill. I saw a drill for nine bucks the other day. I mean that is just crazy. Uh, and some screws. Your job will be made much easier with clamps, a mitre square and a few other bits and pieces that I'll show you in the video. To make the frame and the legs for this workbench we're using pine. Now these pieces are already cut to length at 1.2 meters and they're 30 mil by 90 mil and these only cost five bucks each. You're going to need about seven of them all up or you may need some more if you want to add some shelves. So uh, let's get to it. Lay out the 1200 millimeter lengths and then mark and square off two more pieces at 540 mil. I'm cheating here with some power tools, but hand tools are totally fine. Just make sure you cut everything perfectly straight and at the correct lengths. Clean up the ends with a file or some sandpaper and then test fit it all together and check your measurements again. When added to the sides, this will make it 600mm in total. I'm using a corner clamp which makes this job much easier and you can pick these up for under 10 bucks. Drill some pilot holes and then drive in two screws. Repeat this process on each corner, making sure it's perfectly square. You can also use glue for extra strength. So that is the base of your workbench. Very, very easy. Now for the bench part, all we've got is a piece of laminated pine. And again, this comes as 60 centimeters wide, so you do not need to rip it to size. All we've got to do is cut the top to make it the same length as this, which is 1.2 meters. But before we do that, we're going to put on some legs. Work out how high you want the bench and then minus the thickness of the bench top. And that's how long you need to make your legs. I'm cutting mine to 980 mil. Put the legs in place, then clamp them onto the frame and make sure they're square. Drill some pilot holes and drive in some screws. If you're only going to use two screws to attach the legs, ideally they should be screwed in like this. You've now got your frame and legs. Next up, turn it on its side and we're going to add a support beam onto the legs. Measure up and mark 300mm up each leg and then you'll need to cut two pieces that are 600mm long. Okay, so that is the frame done and it is very, very sturdy. Now the last thing to do is to get the laminated pine sheet and cut that to size and then put that onto the top. Square up and mark the bench top at 600 mils and then clamp it onto your frame ready to be cut. You can use a hand saw, but I'm using my circular saw for a clean cut and I've set up a fence to guide the saw along and keep it straight. Now with that cut done, the top of your workbench should fit absolutely perfectly. And that is looking pretty good. So now all we've got to do is screw it on. I'm using a countersink bit to sink the head of the screw below the surface of the bench top. Measure up and drill your pilot holes, then screw the bench top down onto the frame. And there it is, around 60 bucks worth of parts and 60 minutes of your time. And that is how you make a basic workbench. If you want to add another shelf, it will add to the structural rigidity of your workbench, like my one over here, and that is the same process as making the frame, except you've just got slightly different measurements so that the shelf is on the inside of the legs. Now with this one here, I'm actually going to be having a rolling tool chest under here, so I don't want any shelves under there. But one thing that is a nice tip and will make it a lot nicer workbench to use is just to bevel the top edge along here. Now you could use sandpaper or you could use something like a router with a roundover bit and just go along that front edge. So so that you're not always leaning against a, a harsh corner like that. So that is how you make a fast and budget workbench.